I'm not going to show you any pictures of any wood trusses that have been cut. This video is just to inform you not to actually ever cut them where they cannot be cut, which realistically in the most in most cases wood trusses can only be cut at the eaves or the fascia boards. So this would be the part of the truss that overhangs off of the exterior wall. Now, just to be clear on that, this doesn't mean that this part can be cut just because I said so. You will need to check with the manufacturer to make sure that you can cut any part of the truss. And I cannot stress this enough. If you're planning on putting a specific item like a heating vent in a particular area and you think, oh, it would work better if you cut the bottom cord of the truss, no. Same thing for any ventilation parts, um, lights, uh, anything else I can possibly think of. And there is one more thing I can think of. What about a crawl space? If you don't allow for a specific size crawl space, and you just go ahead and put your trusses in. Let's just say, for example, you put your trusses at 24 inches on center and you need a 30 inch crawl space. Well, guess what? You had better plan on moving the roof truss or contacting the manufacturer, but do not cut the roof truss. I can't stress that enough. Like I already said, why is this? Why am I making such a big deal out of this? Because I've actually done it in the past. If you can learn by my mistakes, then you won't have to go through the same um, stuff I went through. So there are things you can do. And um, whenever you're building a new house, the roof trusses, you know, are going to need to be positioned properly. But more or less what this video would be referring to would be someone who's planning on remodeling and putting a room addition on or something to where a truss would need to be cut. And if that's the case, you just need to contact uh, a structural engineer to provide you with uh, more information on exactly what you need to do.